how are they going to bring you down? Look at our artists at the end. Look at uh, uh, Unsung. How every, every artist that reached the peak at the end didn't have shit. That's a plan. I like Kevin Hart. I see his excitement, his enthusiasm about, oh shit, look at me, look what I'm doing. But it's the plan they have for your ass, bro. That's what you gotta get ready for. One of my pains with Richard was, and in, in when we did Superman, and Marvin Gaye was in London at that time trying to find himself. And them two brothers sat on the floor, getting high, but they had went past the high. They was looking at the fact that what they was doing was not so much wrong, but they knew people wouldn't understand it. And to watch them two sit there and cry over, damn, look at what we doing. I mean, cry. And it was a point, I'm just standing there looking at them, it's like, are they bullshitting? But they wasn't. And when we left London and LAX, we heard Malcolm, I'm not Malcolm X, Marvin Gaye was killed. It was April Fool's Day, we heard it. Mm. And Richard was, that was one of the few times I seen him really get upset over why would they say some shit like that on the radio. We didn't know that was true. So week after we seen that, that he was killed. And then, then Richard Byrne, you know. So you seen how those things, you know. Uh, from that life. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You seen their pain, but at the same time, see when you have money, your people, is, their attitude is, you rich. What the fuck is really your problem? Not only that, what people don't understand about the wealth, mm. it can make you trip out. Mm. You see it. You see these men and women sit around with this wealth, mm -hmm. and they know when they try to talk to their people, their people, I just want to know what can I get. Huh? The fuck what you talking about? Right. What can I get? And even if they turned you on to it, you would turn your back on them. They know that. It's a painful process. Um, I remember when Richard did Jojo Dancer and how hard that was for him. Mm -hmm. It's the same for me um, because Flip is dead and I seen how he was fucked over at the end and his how children. Was he, how was he fucked over? In terms of the moment he died, literally, the wealth was taken and gone. It's gone. It's not even a week. And everything that may have taken whatever amount of time to get there, it was gone within one week. You can't come in the house. None of the shit that was in the house, his personal belongings, they, when I say they, I mean white people, literally took everything. They took Flip's children's clothes. They took everything. And that's what I would share with the Kevin Hart and all of them because you think while you're young, you're making this money, you got it. They're not waiting while you're young. They wait for you to get sick and dead. So wait, I, I recall you said that Flip tried to flex that he like owned his, Flip, his home. No, he, he owned his home. Uh, uh, it's Grand Central Market downtown LA when you see how big that shit is. The homes, the buildings that was right. He took me to shit that he owned. And so how do we end up his stuff being taken? Because the reason you can take it is who else know you got it? You ain't letting nobody black know you got it. You certainly not letting nobody in your family got it. We are under the understanding of this is in the will, but you put your enemy in charge of the will. That's who do the paperwork. Your kids don't know. In your mind, they'll get this at the end, but they don't know. Why not let them know now so that you can continue to guide them while you know? Mm -hmm. So you're going to wait till you die and say, it's not going to go that way. It's not going. Oprah has, she don't have any kids. She don't have any family. Where does that wealth go to? Now, in her mind while she's living, my will is directed like this. Your ass is dead now. You think we gonna follow that shit? No. It's just in our minds while we living. And they know, they know us mm -hmm. better than we know ourselves. That's the dragon. And when you see they know, uh, um, it's already laid out. And, and with Flip, uh, I became aware of it because he showed me the wealth. Mm -hmm. 
I remember we was in Texas, and we was driving across the country, and he pulled up to this dude ranch in Texas. And as far as your eyes could see, there was cattle. And so it's like, okay, here we go. And he like came off the road in Texas and he's driving him maybe two miles to get to the dude house, what they called it. And we got there and I'm in my mind, okay, here we get me go with this bullshit, fucking around with these white people in Texas. You know, this shit is wrong. You're not really fucking like like that. Mm -hmm. And when we got up there, the white boy said, hey, Mr. Wilson, it was his shit. And he just looked, he said, this is mine. And your eyes could not see the end of it. But his children was, if you're rich, we're kind of rich. Uh, Richard unmasks his fortune. Jennifer is in control of it. She's in control of the money. He has children. She's in control of the history. I like Kevin Hart. I see his excitement, his enthusiasm about, oh shit, look at me, look what I'm doing. But it's the plan they have for your ass, bro. That's what you gotta get ready for. That shit right there, not you making money. We, that's the given. It's what, how are they gonna bring you down? Look at our artists at the end. Look at a, a unsung. How every, every artist that reached the peak at the end didn't have shit. That's a plan. Cause they didn't get together to say, hey, at the end of our careers, we gonna be broke. That was orchestrated. And sometimes we just don't wanna accept that. Um, since I've been here in Georgia, I've been here for a year, a year, maybe a couple of months, and I been made, uh, we are awakened to the fact that how intertwined we are with them. <laughs> and it's, there's a side, there's a part of say, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Make your money with who you can make it with. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean don't pay attention. And that's what happens. We start, we get to a point where we don't pay attention. We just don't pay attention. And we have all the excuses in the world. I made more money here than would any. We get that. So that's the problem. Um, that's not a problem. It's like you would like Kevin Hart to know. And I think I told the brother, I said, I asked him, I said, where's Kevin Hart now? And he thought I was talking about physically. And I said, no, not physically. Where is he at physically at in the world right now? And he said, St. Lucia. I said, yeah, how you know that? I said, because it's on the machine. He's taking pictures. Me and my wife here. You don't think you can be robbed over there? I can get a ticket and come over there and rob your ass right in St. Louis. I hit you in your fucking head right there where nobody think it's going to happen. But you think I'm here and it's good. And even your security that you may or may, they don't have nothing to protect you. They just probably some big niggas that you can't beat up and you think that's what make them security. Because you can't whip their ass. But that's not security. You can be touched right there. So why are you letting us know where you're at? Take your wife, take your kids, have a vacation, enjoy yourself. Don't, don't, don't put it on the machine. Broadcast don't broadcast it. You know, so now I can rob you in St. Louis, Lucia. I can rob your house up here. But it's not us that's robbing your house. It's them that's robbing it because of all the security shit that you have set up. You set that up with them. And that's who's robbing you. We just going to get the blame. And I've seen it happen. Eh?